Hey YouTube friend, JC here with Red Railing Fishing. In this video, you guys, I'm gonna be putting together a 12 volt battery box that's portable, DIY, simple and easy, reasonably priced, you guys, for charging for charging devices like your cell phone, your GoPro batteries. It's got a cigarette lighter here, a switch in the middle, and two USB connectors here. All of the wiring comes complete. It has a fuse, a positive wire and negative wire. All you gotta do is hook these up and you're ready to start charging, you guys. 15 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description area down below if you wanna go get one of these. Six bucks for a battery, am a, a battery box, yeah, an ammo box box from Harbor Freight. So $21 invested in those two things and bam. And we're going to have a battery box. I already had the nine amp hour battery for my fish finder that I'm going to be using. I have a black and red permanent marker because I'm going to have to draw a diagram of how these wires connect to these outer ones. Everything connects to the center here, but I have to disconnect them from the outer ones, you guys, um, because I'm going to actually remove each one of these switches from this plate right here. The plate's not gonna work the way that I want it to on the lid, so we're gonna install the individual switches. But the cool thing is I don't even have to think about the wiring. It's already figured out for me. I've got a portable drill here and an inch and three eighths hole saw for drilling the holes. You guys, we're gonna put together this portable 12 volt DIY battery charging system right after this. I have looked at this, the lid on this battery case. You can see on the bottom side of the lid, there are just a lot of different areas on here. And really the only place that I can make these switches work good is in this area right here. I'll have plenty of, plenty of room to screw them on and drill the holes in this area. And that's actually like right underneath the handle. I really wanted to, to install it on this side with the plate and everything, but the problem is, is there's just not enough room in here for the connectors to screw down uh, without hacking everything up. So I thought it would just be simpler if I go ahead and disconnect the wires from here and here and just take these off of that plate and use them individually. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out my wiring diagram so that, um, yeah, I get the wires hooked back up correctly. Next thing I'm gonna do is just gonna, I'm gonna, all I have to do is disconnect the outside wires here and here. All of these wires connect in the middle. So I'm just gonna connect the out, disconnect the outside wires. I know on the USB connector over here, it's got the black with two wires and it's got the short, it's got the short red wire on the USB connector. And then the cigarette lighter has the longer red wire. And then the cigarette lighter also has the longer wire that comes out of the middle as well. But because all these wires come out of the middle, um, I should be able to, yeah, it's all gonna work out just fine. So down here on the bottom of them, we can just unscrew those screws, take those connectors off, out of the housing. There's my USB connector. that removed off of the plate. Don't need that anymore. Yeah, so then looking at the top of a battery box, I'm just gonna drill three holes across here and make sure that they're, they're spaced far enough apart from one another. One, two, three. There we go, that's what that looks like. You can see my little my little crosses there. That's where I'm gonna drill, drill my three holes. Yep, we're gonna have a problem there. I held up the drill and it's actually gonna be cutting too close. It's gonna be cutting too close to this lip right here when I put the drill up there to drill it. So I'm gonna just move, move them back that way a little bit. Let me see here. From the center area, I'm gonna go back about a quarter of an inch from where I had it. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Go back about a quarter of an inch Put some other marks. That should be good right there. Yeah, I, that should work. Here we go. Plan on putting my uh, cigarette lighter will go on this side. Just put that there. That looks good. Now let me get my connector on the bottom. 
here. Make sure the connector is going to fit without hitting anything. There it is right there. That's going to work just fine. See there the nut on the bottom it cleared an eighth of an inch on one side. Eighth of an inch on both sides the nut cleared right there. So I actually could have could have drilled probably an inch and a quarter hole would have been better. That inch and three eighths is, is a little big actually. So I'm going to go take a look see if I have an inch and a quarter bit that I can use instead of the inch and three eighths. Let's see what we got here. You guys, if you don't have a hole saw kit like this, I'm encouraging you to get one. They're not very expensive. I'll see if I can find one on Amazon and I'll put a link in the description area. These are so handy. You use these things for a lot of different projects. So look at that. That one right there is going to be the perfect size. Look, fits right over there. All right. That's the one that I need right there. Nice and snug. Here we go. Hole number two. All right. Well, that one moved on me a little bit. Hopefully it'll still work. These connectors actually have a little rubber seal on them to help uh, seal them up, make them waterproof, I'm sure. Clean these edges of these this hole off really good make sure there's no obstruction so I get a good tight seal there cigarette liner we got our switch in the middle feed our wires through feed all the wires through our nut Switches in, cigarette lighter here. Just tighten those down, they're aligned right. Let me tighten those down good. And voila! Now all I gotta do is reconnect the wires. Nice. All right, so now all I have to do is uh, wire some quarter inch connectors or crimp some quarter inch connectors here on these wires. So let me get out my quarter inch connectors. All right, guys, I cannot find my wire strippers anywhere, so I had to do this the old fashioned way with my knife. That's like part of, part of living in an apartment. I just have things all over the place just about the time I think I'm organized and then I go to look for my wire strippers and crimpers and I can't find them but I did find my box of connectors I'll put a link to I'll put a link to this box of connectors that I got on Amazon you guys this thing is just loaded with connectors and the uh, the heat shrink electrical tubing so we just need a we need a couple of quarter inch connectors for the battery here. And because I can't find my crimpers, I have to use my channel locks here. All right. She is connected. That's good. Now because, because this has a built-in fuse, if I did anything wrong, it's gonna blow the fuse and then I'll have to order a fuse finish the video later. Let's go ahead and put the battery in there. I'm going to have to close the lid part way. All right. One slide on to the positive, one slide on to the negative. There we go. Slide the battery over to the right or probably it, yeah, it'll work right over the top of the switches as well. Got plenty, plenty of room in there for that lid to close. Lock the lid up. 
Uh oh, we pushed our switch up though. That's not good. Here we go. Look at that. We got power, baby. We got power. All right, guys, here we go. Cell phones plugged in, GoPro batteries are plugged in. Hit the power switch, cigarette lighter, power, every, all systems go, man. Everything is charging, looking good. There you are, your DIY, simple to make, easy, guys, cheap portable battery box system you can take with you hiking, camping, boating, kayaking, wherever it is that you need, 12 volt power to charge your devices. There you go. I'll put a link to all of these things in the description area. Go over to Amazon, get you some of this stuff. I'll get a small commission. Greatly appreciated. Thumbs up or appreciated. Everybody get out there and enjoy life, man, because life is fun. Live it. See ya.